I'll just press two, is that right? Oh, there, there we go. go, hey. Right, so, so welcome to the internet, because I can hear you. Yay. <laughs> Hello, internet. <laughs> Hello, internet. Welcome to British Magic Time here at Patriot Games 1K Modern Event. We are a little bit late starting, I do apologise for that, but we're going to go straight into the action and we'll catch you up later. First round, we will wait and see. It looks like it's... Well, it's Necrotic Ooze combo versus... I think it's Jund. Yeah. It's By the look of some of the cards in the deck, it could be Jund. So we'll have to wait and... We'll, we'll get a confirmation in a minute and then we'll get the uh, titles updated. All right, here we go. Jund? No, it's Ooh. not Jund. Ooh. It's Grixis. It's Grixis control. So it looks like he went down to six for this. Yep. Grixis control it is. Starts off with a polluted dollar. Well, it's not yeah, just yeah. It's a necrotic ooze. We'll start off with a nice early inquisition. We can see in the hand, we can see a cryptic command, we can see a colligans, we can see a terminate and a remand. This is going to be quite an interesting matchup already. I can see this. Yeah, what would you be your pick here? Knowing Andy's deck, I yeah. Colligan's commands the the slow uh, is the worst card for him in this sort of format. Mm. The fact that Craig is stuck on two, uh, he's just on his last second land. He'll have no need to crack that at the moment. No. He wants to wait to see what's going to go happen. Yeah. It's the first round. Oh, we can see the first piece of the combo in Andy's hand right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait and see. Mm -hmm. Gone down. Gone down. So he just ends up tapped. And we see another Inquisition. Let's oh, try and oh, let's terminate. Uh, terminate because uh, two cryptics. Oh, so he's got the fourth and, land. Uh, mm. And that's uh, the pack rat slowly landing down now. So yeah, a safe pack rat. It's just fetching his uh, basic. Yeah. Goes down to 17 life, so yep. it brings totals to 17 all. We'll wait and see what happens this turn. He needs some sort of answer. That's a thought season. That is. Um, even though it might be just like a turn too late. Could potentially be. Mm. But the fact is that he can now see what the deck is if he plans the thoughts he's just turned. Mm. Or he can leave up the Grimand to stop uh, Pack Rat shenanigans the turn. Oh, it'll slow it down a turn Yeah, anyway. slow it down a turn. But it will still mean you'll be able to bounce it and tap things. Mm. Or bounce and draw for this one. Judge has been cool already. Not for this match. <laughs> Andrew Cations, isn't it? <laughs> It's okay, no worries. What? Yeah, uh, we're well, sorry for the uh, random deck list that's uh, currently showing on the oh, screen. Sorry, yeah. It should be coming off any minute now. We'll get back to the action. Uh, the Crypt Command came down. Yeah. What did I... I unfortunately, it's uh, Counter draw. Counter draw. Is, 
the pack back. No, uh, no, it bounced to the hand. I was about to say, I think. And bounce draw, I think, the uh, activate. Yeah. Down to 16 now. Go for the next dual land out of the deck. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice only having two colours, it means your mana's not as bad and you're not going to get as bad a situation. Yeah, it makes the decks a bit more consistent. It does, but with fetch lands in this format, there should be no problems with mana, but no. we do have them occasionally, as we see plenty mm. of times. <laughs> Unfortunately, for some people, it's on coverage as well, so it's a bit of a sad experience. Mm. And there's counter draw. So pack rat is now in the graveyard for Andrew. Craig is slowly bringing this game back round. Quill spike. Oh, there's there's the first piece of the combo, a quill spike. As Craig goes and reads the card now, we should be able to see it. I will just confirm the text on Quill Spike for everyone so everyone knows what it does. So just get that up. Thought we can seized. see Maelstrom Pulse and the Lolith Troll. Interesting. So the Lolith Troll in this combo is used to discard the pieces of the graveyard. The sensible idea is to get rid of the uh, Maelstrom to stop any shenanigans, especially as we can see a Grave Titan in Craig's hand. Mm, indeed. Which is going to be a very big turn. There's the second piece of the combo. We just need the Necrotic Ooze now. Yeah. Yes. I think we can actually... I'll go to combo. I'll attack this guy. Yeah. And I'll... I think he's got the combo. Oh no. Minus one counter on him. Yeah. I can... Uh, so he's just he's just going for the basic damage here, Andrew. He hasn't got the full combo yet. No. As he needs both creatures in the graveyard. But it's No, because I removed the counter with that. So we've got it's Craig. just explaining the uh, interaction between both cards. It's a it's an unusual oh, combo for people this one. Yeah. But that's the main thing I think with it. Is that it's in this sort of event where a combo like this can suddenly go? Oh, I'm not expecting this. What's going to happen? Yeah, Andrew seems to be at 16. Craig seems to be still at 17. Oh. Craig should have taken damage that turn. Yeah, though. and yeah, what was the damage on that one? Absolutely, just confirm that. Grave Titan comes down, two zombies. It. Yeah, Craig at 15, Andrew on 16. Down to 6. Craig is actually currently down to 6 life at the moment. Ooh, Craig down to 6. That was a big turn from that the Quill Spike. That was a big turn from the Quill Spike. But now he does have blockers, which is a Relevant. problem. <laughs> this is where it starts to get a bit ugly, this. And another thought, Zeus. So we're stopping anything by the look of it on Craig's yeah. side of things. This could well be locked up for Craig at this point, but we can't call it yet. No. Nope. This deck, unfortunately, has Titan it. in. Titans in. We'll get some more blockers. Andrew goes down to ten. Interesting zombie tokens, though. Yeah. <laughs> Very. But, uh, it was like Victorian esque zombie token. I think it's very appropriate. We'll have to wait and see what he has. And in his. it's. Yep, Thought Seas. I think that's a Murmuring Bask in his hand. Yeah, that, I think it was actually, yeah. So we've got a Murmuring Bask in, and his. And hand. he sees the Remand and Thought Seas. So Takes out the Remand. Much better. Yeah. We can happily see what's going on in this position. That Murmuring Brass really isn't doing much at this no, point. No, it's a, not. That's a very late game card. You want that early game so you can fix your mana, but that's the best you're going to use it for. Mm -hmm. There are no Tree Folk in that deck, unfortunately. And the draw, and... Is that another Remand? Is that the fourth Remand in the game? Or was the third Remand? Third. Third, third remand, remand in the game. That's. It feels like I'm playing Cockatrice at the moment. <laughs> the amount of times I see Remands. <laughs> He's going in with team. Yep. Trigger on Grave Titan, get two more zombies. zombies. This is a lethal attack. Um, You'll have to block the Grave Titan. You will have to block the Grave Titan. Go down to four. Actually, go through the motions, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. I was asking to go through the motions. Make sure we understand this. So, I'll 
top end slot of green. Yeah. I'm talking to put minus one counter on him. Yeah. Eat the counter. Yeah. So that goes. Yeah. So this is the basic combo, but it works better in the Kotakus because you have unlimited mana then you can tap and untap it as much as you need to in combat. Yes. And I take six. Six. So the Grave Titan is down. Down to two. This is going to be a critical draw now. This is... I, From what I know from Andy's deck, there's not many outs in this position. Especially as we've seen the Thought Seas now. Yeah. Um, to see a Murmuring Bass and a Hollow. The boss. I think. Uh, I is think there an out? Yeah. There's no out. Not with that out. Fauna Shaman. Fauna Shaman. No, I think this is it. No. Yep, like game one. Game one goes to Craig with Grits' control. Brave Titan showing its strength. It I, was, I was thinking, hoping damnation for some reason. <laughs> I haven't actually seen his sideboard, so we're not sure what he's going to bring in this matchup. In terms of Craig, it's an unusual matchup for him, but any graveyard hate is very good in this position. Yeah, the basic graveyard hate is usually uh, Relic of Progenitus. I can see that coming in, and I can also see... I mean, ah, we can see ley lines in yes, and the patient's sideboard, yeah. but I'm not sure if he'll bring those in, because there no. was, there's not much graveyard interaction in this deck. He'll need some big removal spells, and he'll need some... Board the, wipes in this position. The only graveyard shenanigans with Grixis is really Snapcaster Mage. Yes, as we have lost Dig, in dig Through Time and yes. Treasure Cruise, unfortunately. Yes. But so, still, Snapcaster is quite a uh, big thing to do. Yeah. with. Surgical Extraction could even see play in this yes, sort of uh, sideboard. Surgical Extraction. Oh. Oh. We flashed up there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly saw us then for a second. Sorry about that. Do not adjust your. <laughs> Is that a control magic I saw in there? Control grave time? In Craig's sideboard. I'm not sure. That's. That, I think Took out the Thoughtsies. I think Thoughtsies is a weak thing yeah. in this matchup because it just fuels. It fuels his graveyard. Fuels Andrew's graveyard more than it fuels Craig's graveyard. Mm. And even though the value is nice to have from it and the knowledge, mm. I don't think it's necessary in this no. matchup. Because he knows what the deck does now, and even if he drops it down to two thoughts, I still think that's a relevant number to keep an eye out on any combo pieces. Yes. So Craig knows the bare bones of this combo at the moment, but he doesn't know about Necrotic Ooze. Mm. It should be an interesting thing if it does come down this game. Yeah. Hello. How are we doing? Hello. Not being covered, I don't think. There's been some technical issues. They've had some technical issues. They managed to get a good adjust at the start of the round. We've got, sta we've got sideboards up. Yeah, yeah, we can't see the life totals. So Fair we'll have to wait for that, I think. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll keep an eye out on everything, though, and we'll keep you up to date as best as we can with our knowledge. So we just get a quick side brush. I thought, uh, I think Andrew has fortunately put some dice on the table so he, he can keep track of his life total. We'll have to say thanks to Andrew for that one. This does save us a bit of effort trying to do this one, but we do have our life to total person on the board. <laughs> That's fine. We're all good, I think. So we're just waiting for Andrew to finish shuffling up. Elvis! Elvis Presley! Oh, it's Elvis Presley on the zombie uh, tokens. Yeah. That's uh, very clever, that. King of zombies. <laughs> I think it's appropriate because it was his birthday a few days ago. Yes, it was. Actually. So, uh, very appropriate uh, token choice. Mm. I might get some of those. Quite awesome, though. Get some for EDH. I think that'll be the main thing. Okay. Uh, you want to play for the second one? Yeah, the yeah. key card probably in this was uh, Great Titan. Oh, it was definitely definitely the pressure of the Great Titan was enough to keep uh, Andrew off winning this. Yeah, the blockers alone. It's it's the two twos and the fact that there's Death one touch. other piece missing <laughs> out of his combo. We see a Liliana in the hand. Oh. For, the hand's not the best. No. But we'll see if he keeps it. I see three land. So I see. I see Liliana coming down. I see two abrupt decays. I think he was. Oh, there's the memory Bosk, Bosk as well. Yeah. So you got two abrupt decays, three lands, and a Liliana by the look of it. He plays Bosk. Not he's kept it. Not revealing. So no reveal. Until. Let's see what happens. Looks like we've got Bolts Coalition. I want to play my Inquisition. Oh, he's kept the Inquisition. Oh, he's kept the Inquisition. In. To be honest, really good. Inquisitions are very strong against this deck. They're better than Thoughtseize because the yeah. life totals actually matter in this. They do. 
In other control decks, you wouldn't see so much. So in the hand, we can it's see. Really? Yep. Well, the lily's Pretty gone right. now. We have two apoptecase left and a lot of lands. <laughs> in some situations, it's good. That's, a, that's is, another uh, land off the top. It's yeah. not the best. Yeah. It's a it's fetch. In the, in there. <laughs> the minimal, it's a minimal thinning effect. Yeah. But it still might affect the draws. We'll have to wait and see what he plays next. You prop the case. We do see a dreadbore lightning bolt. No, I think it was coalition relic. Interesting. Because I was looking in the pile of decklists. I don't think this is a prop the case is not the card you want in this matchup. Sorry about that. Guys. Here we go. Nice. Here we go. We've just received the uh, sideboard. It was Coalition Relic. It was Coalition Relic. We also see three cool Ultimatum mm. in the main deck. So the sideboard we've had Negate, Jurest, the spell. There's a lot of one ofs. Sowing Salt for the Tron matchups. We've got Karanos for the more grindy matchups. I'm guessing the Dreadboard came in. Yeah. The Engineered Explosives might have come in. They could take care of the uh, yeah. Rat. Problem. Anger will. Anger would definitely, yeah. Uh, the Vow Flesh is an interesting choice. Slaughter though. Games. That's for combo and yeah. uh, stuff he like that. He might have brought that in. But he doesn't know about the Necrotic I don't think no. he would have brought it in in four mana. It's not worth it, I don't think, for this one. Anyway. Now, uh, the other sideboard, we have uh, two Wickerbora Elder, the mm. Affinity. Yeah. Uh, we have Hushwing Griff, Leyline of the Void, two Savage Summoning. Now, that could be coming in against this control. Countering. Uh, un yeah, uncounterable. uncounterable. Making creatures uncounterable. It, it could see play that. Yeah. That's, Reaper of the Wilds is an interesting choice. The Hexproof might be a winner mm. for this. Uh, choke might come in. A choke definitely will probably end up in the main deck for this. Uh, the other two cards are uh, two Golgari Charm and two Drowning Sorrow, which I don't think will They won't in see in this choke, one, no. Unfortunately not. But no. the choke is a big card. Yeah, choke. If he gets choke at the moment. He has two islands out. <laughs> well, he's only got one island out. He's got a. Oh, uh, oh is that a. Uh, uh, yeah. He's got his uh, creeping tarpit out. Creeping tarpit. And now he's sulfur full. So, so he's, he's set up for. I think that's a cruel ultimatum in his hand, ready mm. to go. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. I think he'll bring I down. I think he Relic will be coming down here, maybe. So the Abrupt Decay might be useful. Coalition, in Coalition Relic? Is he going to force the Abrupt Decay on it? That's the question. That's, yeah, that is the question. We'll have to wait and see who this one. No, he's... he will. Yep, he will. Abrupt Decay is going down. So he's only got one Abrupt Decay left in hand that he knows So of. in the hand, we have Bolt, Dread for Cruel Ultimatum, and I believe that last card is a land. We just see another land as well. Yeah, so we've got Blood Crypt coming down. I'll just slaughter packed in the main. Yeah, there was. Polygon's command. Yeah. This is an interesting Grixis list. It's something yeah. we haven't seen before. At least it has a wing con. Yeah, Fetch has been cracked. Four Snapcasters. One Grave Titan. Full cool. Yeah. Yeah, Overgrown Tomb fetched. So they're down. Not much life loss in this one so far. They're, they're no. still relatively high. Andrew's at 18 at the moment, and Craig is at 19 as well. Yeah, on this group. And I believe that was, yeah, Anger of the Gods. Like I said, the Anger will come in this matchup yeah. because it is a very scary threat for it. any graveyard based deck. Yeah, because it. <laughs> and also takes care of a pack rat problem before it gets out of hand. Definitely. You'd have to discard four times for it to actually survive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not doable, not really that doable in this sort of matchup. You are playing a troll. Are we going to see a cruel ultimatum here? He's fetching. Let's see what he fetches. Does he go for the basic or does he go for the. Uh... Yeah, the creeping tarpit is. Uh... There's the basic. I think we might see that. Could be. Because he knows about the other. He's not activating creeping tarpit because he knows about the other. Yes, he does, which is the. Uh... Problem. That's the basic. So he won't we have two it. red, three black. Oh, and shocking himself. This could be the cruel this, ultimatum. This will most likely be. So two blue, two red, three black, cruel ultimatum. Wow, we haven't seen that card come down in a long time for modern. <laughs> Flashback memories, please. 
Never thought I'd see that in a, in a modern game. But. Okay. Well. <laughs> of cool ultimatum. So Andrew will take five from that. No creatures to sack and discards. And three cards to win. No creatures to return either. No. It's still a draw. Not full value, but. Draw three cards, lose five life to the opponent. And Andrew Pack Rat. And there's the Pack Rat. <laughs> With no cards in hand, Andrew, this is going to be a very painful turn for him. Yeah. I've got a feeling we've got our grips. I think we're just going to see just Bolt Pack Rat. Right Andrew here. is now at 11 life. Going to Steven, our coordinator, so we should keep an eye out on that. Yeah, bolt the rat right now. This is a very awkward situation. So now we can start filling in with the uh, coalition, relic. coalition relic. Craig is at 21 yeah. at the moment. It's working now. I typed in the wrong number and stuff, but I've done it. It's working. Just, just Inquisition. It's a little bit late that Inquisition. We're yeah. playing with just cards and hands. And there's uh, another cruel ultimatum. Just in case the first one wasn't enough to win. Uh, this point? From, yeah, he's just taking the drink for. And a turn. And charge. up the relic. See, that's another card we never see him on. It's relic. But I can see why they're using it. Purely for cruel ultimatum. Because if you drop it on turn 5 or 6 ultimatum, it's pretty scary. It's devastating to some decks. Uh, it's off for blue. Blue. So he's going double blue. No, I think he's going to go for the. Uh, oh. Yeah, triple black, two red. Red. Crawl ultimatum again. We're going to go for it again. Leaving up <laughs> the remand he drew. Yep. It's not a pretty <laughs> situation. He's down another five. He's down to eight now. So he's drawing. That's really? Snapcaster Mage Colligan's command. This is a very, very brutal turn for him. It is. Um, Craig is still not on the discard phase, despite all these draws. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, that it's a combo piece, but I think it's a bit little... It's it's no good in this situation. We have bolts and we have remands. And Snapcaster Mage bolts. I think we're going to Snapcaster snap bolt. bolt. Oh no, is Snapcaster in Cruel? End of turn. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah and we've just, just realised. <laughs> Next turn, he could have snapped Caster Mage, Cruel okay, Ultimatum, and his yeah, turn. Definitely, to yeah. To just, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got very I, confused. Now. I still think Craig is in this despite that yeah. slight display. Let's hope he just doesn't do this later. I think on. he just wanted to attack with the Snapcaster. <laughs> I think he was trying to snap cast a bolt. And. There's a cryptic command. This is I well and truly locked actually down. Actually, knowing the matchup, I probably down. would have waited to the next turn just to snap cast a cruel or something. Down to six now, uh, Andrew. Craig is still on a healthy he, ugh, cryptic 26 Colligan. life. There's so many answers in his hand right now. We see another Inquisition off the top, which unfortunately is not going to do it. I think he's going to, yeah, yeah cryptic to this, counter and draw. This is well and truly locked up. Charge. And the way and see, I think he's on six. He's not enough to kill him unless he's got a bolt in hand. He has got the colligans there. He's got colligans. So we can activate and kill. Black. He's animating the target. Yeah. It does say two damage to player. To player, yeah. And that game goes two 0 to Cray. On Crixus oh, yeah, control. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to yeah, see the amazing combo of Necroticus, but yeah. we will be back soon with more matches. Yes, we I, will. I um, think that was an interesting matchup, that one. Yeah, because the interaction with the Grave Titan, oh, choke, yeah. it, that, it <laughs> was like, you go through the steps, so I know. The chokes did come in, but it just didn't see any. So we'll be right on the sideboard chokes. You've got the... I think just the chokes came in for uh, Andrew. Yeah, I don't think I'm surprised at that. Chokes um, and a savage summoning. Yeah, yeah, the savage summoning. Just to get around the count spells. Yeah, maybe left a couple of them. And, it, and it does flash in as well, so... Yes, definitely. That is a flash card, which is uh, the things at the end of the turn. Flash this in. Yeah, both savage summonings. Yeah. So we were right on the side, sideboard oh, for... Yeah. 
yeah. Andrew here. Sorry, we'll sorry, wait and see what comes in. If I roll shot which I doubt. We're good, we're mates. It's all fine. Just in case he sees him in the top eight. Did any of that manage to get up? Yes, yes, most of it, most of it, yes. So my stupid Snapcaster was a mistake. Unfortunately, yeah, yes. You know, you we agree, the yeah, Snapcaster yeah, the was the only yeah. mistake we yeah. saw. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a pretty big, it wasn't that big a mistake, but in, a, in a, any other matchup it might have been a critical mistake. Yes. Yeah. The other thing you could have done is target bolt, and then use the bolt then and save yeah. the bolt for hand. I think by the time he says target crawls, mate, to me, I think it's just too late. It's one of those things, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, the target's been called. Yeah, I've got game against you. Yeah. Uh, I, tell, I think you made a mistake in game one. I was really worried about the pack rat when you made the pack rat. I thought you, when you, you got your pack rat out the second time after. So we got I Craig. The good thing that I always found with Craig, you always try and give you advice at the end of the match. Which is nice. And that's that's part of the community, I think, the magic is, especially in the event like this, where there's 20 pounds extra fee for this one. It's a lot of prize at stake, and the more you learn in these sort of tournaments, the better. The more you play, and the more experience you get, the better the play you should be Oh, definitely. I can safely say that. I've been teaching my missus how to play recently, and she's played a few times. Times recently, and she's getting main, main slowly, slowly better. She's actually yeah, won a couple of games now. She's quite happy with herself. It is only red, black aggro, but it's still yeah, a game. Red, red black aggro can be devastating. It can be devastating <laughs> in the right hands. So there's still some cards in the field that I need to buy, but yeah, that's yeah, in the future. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a new, there's new red black stuff coming out, so I'm very happy with that. Best luck in the rest. Yeah. We'll talk about the decks a little bit more. Yeah, I think we can do that, can't we? Yeah. I mean, I just want to talk about the Necrotic Ooze. I, th I think we're pretty solid on Craig's. Necrotic Ooze is always an interesting list. I've never seen a full thing go off. Yeah. I mean... To be fair, the Necrotic Druid Pacer itself... The Druid was... Yeah, minus one, minus one. Minus one with the Quill Spike. Is the win. Is the win. With the Necrotic Ooze. It's also... Yeah, you can only do it once or twice. Thornley. Thornley. Thornley with Quicksilver... Oh, Quicksilver. Quill Spike and Devoted Druid is the win with Necrotic Ooze, because you can untap, retap, untap, untap as many times as you want, and then give it Trample, Yeah, which is the main thing. I also like the interaction with the one-off Grim Puppet. <laughs> yes, that is a definite, actual interesting thing. I've never seen that. We, this is why we like Andrew. Take it, take I always love Masked Crows. <laughs> this, is, this is why we like Andrew Patient, because he always comes up with unique decks, and that's yeah. the main thing I think about Modern, is that we can have these sort of unique decks. So we're just signing up the slips and we should be finished now for this yep. game. And we'll wait and see what we have for. Oh, sorted, we're here. Yay. <laughs> so we we thought in between rounds, is some rounds can go really long, some rounds can go really quick. If we have a long round, then we don't have as much time to talk yeah. about it. But we do have the entire spoiler list for the new set. Absolutely amazing set at the moment from the look of it. Which is why this is going to be a good stream, I think. We have a lot of things to talk about. We'll put that over there. So, shall we start off with a card that everyone's been talking about? We're going to look at Kozilek's Return. Yeah. So, for people, I, very unusual if you haven't heard this card yet, but it's one of those cards that we'll see play in a lot of decks. It will see play in standard. It will also see play in modern, in yeah. Tron. In Tron, because Despite... Tron is... When you speak of Zendikar, you cannot speak of Zendikar without high... Costing, high cost cards. Powerful creatures and spells. So, the... Kozilek's Return, for the people who don't know, is a three mana that's two in a red uh, with Devoid, which has no colour. Yes, that's right. And of course, Tron loves its no colour. Uh, even better. Uh, Kozilek's Returns deals two damage to each creature, so it pyroclasms. At instant speed, we At should instant say. instant speed, which, which is, is relevant. <laughs> very relevant in these now. It might be one mana more for instant speed, but that's a very big target yeah, on um, Tron's head. For you're willing to people. pay an extra for instant speed. I, I would be for Tron. Yeah. I've played Tron before, and as much as sorcery speed pyroclasms are nice, it's not really worth it half the yeah. time. Now that's just nice, but the second ability of this card is whenever you cast an Eldrazi creature with converted mana cost 7 or greater. Which is most of the cards in the Tron deck, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, you can exile this from your graveyard, 
which, <laughs> which know, enables the processors then as well. Yeah, which means they can thought seize it out your hand, they can <laughs> inquisition it out your hand early game and completely forget about it until late game. Exactly. That um, is also a thing that people, players might forget who don't play Tron often and do start playing with this card, they will eventually forget it at some yes, point. Yes, they will. At a vital um, point. When you do cast a summon or greater Eldrazi spell, uh, it deals five damage to each creature. So basically, it's another Which, board wipe. It is another board wipe. It's a very devastating card in the fact that the late game it can clear a big board. So in a deck like Merfolk, where you have, if you get to that point in the game where you're casting seven mana stuff, which um, is very easy in Tron on turn three is the earliest, yeah. of course. But if you get to that point late in the game where yeah. you do this. And also with it being uh, devoid, it still hits um, Master of Waves. And Etch Champion. And Etch Champion. So it's an automatic Which is really relevant board in wipe. this modern format. It's an automatic board wipe for Affinity. And it's two damage, so it kills Etch Champion before it can yes, start it equipping things, which is yeah. very important. Devoid just makes it a better card. It definitely does. It will, it will be certainly one of those chase mythics out of the yeah, set, unfortunately. Will, yeah. So I expect quite a high price tag for that in, in the long run. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're speaking of it in a modern format. In a standard format. In a standard format. I can see it being okay in, I a, can see it in a RG ramp, Eldrazi ramp deck. I can also see it in a sort of rug finishing deck or a, or a Jeskai finishing deck for, for a uh, board wipe. Oh, yeah, Jeskai finishing deck, yeah. So, like, because we have, we'll talk about the new Chandra later on. Yes, we'll Because yeah. I do love that card, and a lot of people are giving it a stick because it's six mana and it's red, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. We've got time to do <laughs> in, that. In modern, six mana's nothing. Uh, six mana's nothing in modern, but we'll talk about that in terms of standard, I we think, because I think that's going to be a standard all star in the next we will. set. So, I think, how long, I think we've got a bit of time till the next round. About 15, well, we'll talk about another card. We'll go through another card then, because there are quite a few. Yeah. I, th I think we have a few, and then we'll, we'll yeah. put, run some ads for people so we can uh, make sure we understand yeah. what the stream is for. And if you are following the stream, we'd really appreciate it, because if you would uh, follow us on Patreon, yeah. uh, you know, this show wouldn't be anything without you viewers. Uh, we'll, we'll, us. we'll also have to say thanks to uh, Patriot Games Leeds for letting us host it here. Yes, it's, yeah. it's been a lot of setup and mm. we've had a lot, a lot of worries and trouble setting this all up, but we managed to do it all yes, in did. two days with the help of everyone on this team. And it's wouldn't, it, to be honest, it's a big thank you to yeah. Thomas, our, our director here today as well, yep. who's uh, currently smiling at us for, yes, for, <laughs> for everything because it, it, it's a unique experience for us and we get to try something that we, yeah, don't, we yeah. don't do too often. And apart from every quarter hopefully yeah hopefully. From now on. hopefully i might be playing the next one but i'll have to wait and see looking forward to what you're running <laughs> <laughs> i'll try and get myself on camera at some point run something yeah, interesting yeah. that should be uh different so let's have a level look at another card we right. can go for let's go for a nice common i think i think we can look at this new common that's coming out and it's been proven a few times it's a natural uh, state nat yeah natural state for those who don't know what natural state does it's a one green instant Oh, I love those instant cards. Uh, destroy target artifact or enchantment with converting banner cost three or less. So this now, is <laughs> anti everything in Affinity. Yes. So this will, <laughs> apart from its champion, but we have Kozilek's return for that anyway. Yes, so that's fine. Yes. But the good thing about this is it, it can replace natural. Uh, naturalize. Naturalize, not naturalize. Uh, destroy target art. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Gain four life. Uh, nature's claim. Nature's claim. That's the one. It, it left my head for a second. Then I do apologise. It for will. That. It will replace nature's claim in the sideboard. It's the only thing it doesn't hit is twin. Yeah, that is the only thing it doesn't hit. So, but to be honest, green has uh, other answers for twin. It has. If you're playing red as well, then you've, yeah. you've got you've got ancient grudge. You've got rending volley. You've yeah. got enough removal yeah. spells to allow to run this. It could. It can see play. Mm -hmm. It will see. It'll probably see play in standard. Yeah, it might be a yeah. one or two of in the sideboard, sideboard standard yes. in any green deck because it'll be worth it. But I'd just case. say the main target for this card is probably going to be cranial plating. 100% definitely cranial plate, and I can see that happening. Yeah. Um, there's even been some talk about it in Legacy for a one green destroy target artifact because there is more than enough targets. True. For it. <laughs> I, could, I could see it in. I'm not too hot on Legacy. I've only played a few uh, yeah. games myself in Legacy. I don't mind the format. Can't afford it though. No, no. It's far too expensive for me to join. Oh, I've built Cheerios. Just oh, that's, that's fine. <laughs> that's that's a uh, that's a thing. 
But exactly, yeah, you've got you've got elves can happily run this, yes. and it won't really affect them. No. I can take them back a turn. It will happily get rid of. Well, it won't get rid of top, unfortunately. No, but it will no. get rid of counterbalance. <laughs> yes, counterbalance. It'll get rid of um, it'll, chalice of the void. Also, it will also get rid of uh, shardless agent. Yes, it will. Yeah, shardless that three agent. mana two two that cascades into value mm -hmm. is now longer going to be dying to a one mana card. Yeah. So the value is still there. Never the underestimate the power of a common. <laughs> we can say, we can safely see that that will probably see play in various formats, and it's, yes. it's an interesting card to have in any green deck. Mm. All right, let's see if we can get one more done in the time, and then we'll. Right, we'll, we'll we're, cut so some, we've we'll, done a mythic. We've done a common. common. Let's see what rares. Un, uh, I'd say uncommon. Should we go for an uncommon? Let's go uncommon. Oh, I've just gone for. I know there's one I need to talk about that's in blue. In blue, you say? Ah, we know the one you want yeah, to talk about. Yes. So, there, there it is. is. Oh, Gift of Tusks. So now, I'm going to leave this one to you because I'm not 100% sure on this card. I can see it's in play as a one blue stop target thing. Um, I see it as a two of, really. Cause, um, two of? Because the relevant text is lose all abilities. So do you want to clarify to the uh, audience? Right, so Gift of Tusks is a one mana blue instant. So it's one blue. Uh, until end of turn, target creature loses all abilities and becomes a green elephant with base power toughness 3-3. Three, three. Now, what that means is it gets rid of indestructible. True. It gets rid of um, a lot of relevant abilities like... Um, it persist. could actually get rid of Persist. Because Persist is actually very a... Very annoying. Flat, very annoying. Uh, also, um, if people start trying to go infinite with Malera... Get rid of the Malera's... In response. In yeah. response. Gift of Tux Malera. Minus one, minus one counters are now relevant again. Yes, they are. So, you know, poison players, if you want to... Yeah, you can see that in, it, in... infect. It could be a one of in the side order of infect for the Malera decks. But I see it mostly against uh, Tron as well. I, um, for the Eldrazi. For the Eldrazi. You can also get rid of Worm Coil Engines 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I can see. I can actually see... Uh, Death see Touch Lifelink, reason, though, so... Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's People are disapproving the card, but definitely sideboard playable. Oh, I think 100 it's percent sideboard playable. Sideboard, but not main deck playable. Main deck, I see it in some decks that would abuse. I'd see it in some decks that would abuse. Yeah. But um, you know, getting rid of abilities and such. Um, but you know, there are other answers to other abilities. But oh, this exactly. gets rid of most of those abilities. The only yeah. ability it won't target is obviously Hexproof. Of course, that's <laughs> one of those things that it but, won't target, which is a but, shame, but, but Hexproof is dying out slowly. Slowly, but I don't think it's going to ever completely never, gone. Yeah. <laughs> but it does get rid of those relevant abilities. Um, oh. It's like, I've... How many games have stopped due to a Predator Ruse just being on the field blocking? <laughs> Not many, because I don't really see many Predator Ruses when I play. Oh, it, well, is, there a lot, seen... is there a lot down your end? Oh, yes. Uh, ah. <laughs> I've built many decks with Predator Ruse. Uh, but Indestructible is still going to be relevant in modern. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have a quick break now, I think. Yep. yep. So we can try and fix this, everything yep. up ready for the next round. Yep, grab a quick drink. We'll, yep, grab a quick drink and we'll see you after the commercial break. Awesome. See you then. See you then.